Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're back working on the Sweetheart Roadster project. Uh, last video we had a little bit of a debacle with getting the uh, 37 LaSalle trans mounted to the Caddy engine, uh, where we had to actually drop the engine down, lower the whole entire engine in trans height, which required some modifications, but in the end it ended up working out really nice. We have a bolt-in trans mount slash cross member uh, in the car. So one thing that I did that I messed up when we were doing all of this was we had the engine a little too, we had the engine what, and what was too high, we found out later, and I cut out the cross member or the crossbar in the sub rails and um, threw it behind me and you know I was going to make something for a tunnel. Well now that we dropped the engine back down we actually are good for a flat floor from pretty much where the seat base is going to be all the way back and we will just have to make a tunnel uh, right around the trance to uh, you know which is obvious but what I did in the meantime is I welded that piece back in luckily with being able to TIG weld everything uh, I was able to butt weld it in it was a pretty quick process and I can distress the welds and it'll be as if it never happened um, so what we're going to work on in this video is a little bit of metal work, a little bit of woodwork. So I want to get this, this pan made here, the last four pan right here that's going to be under your butt for the seat. And what I need to do is actually cut out this big bulbous cross member brace that is in the frame, uh, in the X member that we have welded in the frame. Uh, this is from a 46 to 48 Ford and that is just how they were. But in order for me to keep a flat floor, we need to get rid of that. So I'm gonna just cut it out for now. Later when we pull the body off, I will make a flat uh, plate that will go over there and still brace the frame. Uh, but for now we're gonna cut it out, make our floor pan uh, section like we've done with the stuff you've seen in the back. And then I'm gonna work on getting some wood and cutting up a uh, seat frame, making a seat frame so we can sit in this thing with some foam we have laying around start getting an idea of what we're doing for seating position, pedals, etc, etc. So, little woodwork, little metal work. So let's get started.
All right, so we got our metal all marked out. Um, I had a slight intermission where I accidentally cut the metal the wrong direction on the taper, so I forced myself to weld little wings on it and correct the issue instead of wrecking a big piece of metal. That was more punishment to myself for being careless. Uh, so I got that all finished out, marked it out, and now we are finally ready to uh, here, I'll take that. do our bead rolling here. So I know somebody's going to see the Pullmax or the Lennox in the background and say, why aren't you using that? And the reason is I did all the other, A, it's not wired yet, but B, I, uh, we did all the other beads and floor pans with, uh, with this. So I'm going to get this all set up, we're going to roll the beads, and then we're ready to punch holes and put it in the car. and. Uh, Get it all set up. I'm just gonna tighten up my dies here. All right. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Used to whip around the corners of that. All right, you got it. It's on you. Yep. Just hold up that yep. side. So. This is so much better being higher up like this. <laughs> Way easier to see. Definitely. Yeah, I can see so much better. Yep. I'm not like my back doesn't hurt by the end because I'm. Mm -hmm. You're balled up trying to bend over. Imagine if Mike was trying to beat it. <laughs> yeah, right. Because you really want it to be at like eye level. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it, in a perfect world, it would be right in front of your face. You can see what you're doing. It is making it a lot easier. If anything, it's more comfortable. Mm hmm. I'm going to start turning right. Got here. it. Turn again. Yep. Coming at you there. <laughs> I'm not ready for a wide open throttle. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, but I'm not. <laughs> All right, we're gonna yep. spin here. All right, we should be able to nail. Fell right in. Okay. Sweet. Oh yeah. There we go. Cool. Mm-hmm. Nice crisp spins. Yeah, it came out good. Section is there. Sweet. So I'll work around it and punch all my holes for mm -hmm. spot welding. We'll get it spot welded in, and then I guess we we'll, and we'll start working on getting that other you know, that wood stuff you've been cutting in. Yep. And figuring out where that's at. But this is in. We'll be doing pretty good. Very good. All right. to the uh, welds here. Right? Yeah. Good. I mean, my welds will hold. I don't know about your wrist. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm more, more worried about that end of it. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a weld. <laughs> that was definitely a weld. <laughs> oh, no. No. no? Just getting tired. Yeah, exactly. The metal's just starting to feel thicker. Right there. You want me to do it like that? Well, I got it. Yeah. 
could be the dies are getting a little dull too. I've been using them for years, but right. And I, I bet you some done. good there. I bet you somewhere it says you know use on eighteen gauge or twenty gauge only. Yeah. <laughs> okay. turned up real high so I have to give like one chance. Mm-hmm. All right, so while I was working on making the uh, that floor pan section, getting it all laid out, Steve was working on just rough cutting some plywood to make our seat frame. So uh, much like a lot of these early cars, the seat frames are really just made out of plywood and then they're you know, rough cut and shaped and sanded and get everything, all the edges to look how we want. But Steve just rough cut all this. Um, it's still sitting a little bit higher than the top here. That's because we're gonna slowly trim it down to where we want it. But for this video, we just wanted to rough cut some wood, get it in there. We're gonna put some foam down on the seat. I have some extra foam that of our friend Joe that did the interior on the Schroll Coupe and the uh, free tea. He gave me some extra foam a while ago and we used it just for sitting on and getting an idea. So I'm going to grab the steering wheel, slide that in, sit down to different pieces of foam. We can start getting an idea of um, what it's what we're going to want for the, the lean back for the seat back and also the high and the, how high we want to stack the foam up. So grab some materials and have some fun playing mock up. Yeah, so the pedals. Pedals already, I can tell we're at the wrong spot. Really? Uh, yeah, and I think the seat back needs to. Oh. It's gonna need to go back. Is there's it? no foam. There's. I mean, I guess I got a little foam behind my back. But... You want me to put that other shorter piece of wood back in? Let me just get the body in here. Let's see what's happening. Oh boy, yeah, look at them. Yeah, so they need to be. Again, without having the seat in, we didn't know what was going on. Exactly. So the steering wheel doesn't seem too bad. No, I set the steering wheel good. I, I remember kind of doing mm -hmm. a lot of this. So yeah, like, but yeah, that's I mean, and you could come up more in the car. You're still like in the lower half of the windshield there. Okay. So yeah, that'll help. But again, you start running to where your legs are hitting the. Oh right. Yep. So I kind of wanted to sit low in this car. Yeah. Because of the windshield being so low, so yeah. like I, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I guess I'm a little low in it, but there's going to be on top of this mm -hmm. pa more pad, a little more padding, fabric. Yep. So I am going to just naturally going to sit up a little higher mm -hmm. than that. So height-wise, that's pretty close. I have that other piece that I think is maybe a little thicker than that, but it does feel a little. In my opinion, I think it needs more lean back. You want me to put that shorter yeah, piece? Yeah, try that shorter there? piece and see if that'll... There you go. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot better. <laughs> we could probably even... If somehow it came up off the... Yeah, I mean, that's... That's a lot, but and it gets me, uh, my head goes up a little bit. Or no, it should lean back more. Yeah. It looks like you're in a decent spot there behind the windshield. Yeah. <laughs> so I think, because we, if you build the seat that it's a little too low, at least then when you put it in, if you have to put a slight riser on the seat, it's yeah. easier to do that than if it's too high from the beginning. Mm -hmm. you can't. Yeah, absolutely. 
hard to go down, but I mean, it's it's in the ballpark because I wanted this one to be like you're down inside of it a lot, yeah. a lot more. So the steering wheel will be up just a little bit, so my hands will be right there. Mm -hmm. So. All right, so why don't we try and make some kind of just simple 90 degree brackets to keep the back from. Yep. And then we can probably bend that metal to get the angle we need. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, then I'll sit in it for the next couple of days and yep. make room room noises. <laughs> Let's see what works. We're in the ballpark. This pet, the pedals are not in the ballpark. But... <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, those, those are still going to be All right, so Steve and I made some real simple brackets here. We actually drilled a bunch of, punched a bunch of holes so we can change the angle of the seat back while we're kind of figuring out what's going on. And I'm gonna sit in this for a day or two and see how I like it all. But we also made some little 90 degree brackets, just screwed them in. So for this video, we're really just trying to get the seat roughed in and kind of where it needs to be. And then we're gonna do another video, finishing up the seat frame and uh, maybe messing with the pedals a little bit, but we'll see. So I'm gonna put some, foam on the bottom there. I'm going to set you back down on the stand here. There we go. And, and we're going to put this foam back in I have and see how it is. I know that the pedals are already totally wrong. I got them. They're going to have to be completely redone or not redone, but angle changed, etc. etc. So let's see. You can already tell it's a pain where they're at, getting them in. Like an old man lifted my leg in. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the pedals are definitely like totally in the wrong spot right now. They need to be shortened and lengthened and bent and changed, who knows. So I'm gonna just push them up. So, Height-wise, I feel pretty good. Obviously, we're gonna sit up probably a little more than this when we're driving, but I feel like my eye line is about centered now. And yeah, I kind of like that. That's that position is actually. Not too bad. It I looks think good, I, yeah. If you get I, the pedals to fit you where you're sitting, where you're sitting, that would be nice. Yeah. I think the uh well maybe we'll go back like one set of holes, because mm -hmm. this is all the way forward, right? Yep. So maybe we'll go back one set of holes. This isn't terrible. I'm definitely sitting up a little more in the car. Mm-hmm. But I'd like to see maybe one set of holes recline back and see what that feels like. <laughs> Definitely have to do something with the shifter. It's like, I'm, <laughs> shifter's currently at my chin. Yeah, they, they just pump the center. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to, uh, we could probably shorten that or get another one. Feet are definitely like, gonna be on the firewall the whole time. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be sitting Holy like this. Holy smokes, yeah. But I think that's because you're sitting down in it. Normally on these, you know, factory you were sitting up sitting higher. Up. Yeah, you bend your legs. Well, yep. So with this thing sitting down, how you're sitting, we want to sit with the windshield. It's, it's going to be Mike's like going to be chewing on his knees in this car. Yeah. 
there he's gonna be. But it'll actually work out nice for the throttle. Right you on the transmission. <laughs> you can pretty much just put your foot right on the transmission. Yep. And right there's where the gas pedal came out originally. Uh-huh. Perfect. So that, that'll actually work out nice. Mm-hmm. The brake and the clutch, I might just have to, we'll have to adjust some stuff, but. It's not terrible. I mean, like I said, I like it to be recline back a little more, but it's really not that bad. We can go more. We got another two inches of recline up. Yeah, but in. with wanting to have that tray back there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it is getting a little, a little close even at this point. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we are, uh, we got something figured out today. Um, so we got the floor pan obviously made and welded in. That was kind of a fairly straightforward project since we've been doing all the ones behind it. Uh, and I got we got the seat kind of roughed in, put some foam in. Steve and I made some temporary brackets, and now uh, we ended up having to take, you may have heard, I don't know if it got edited out or not, but uh, Steve and I were kind of realizing as we are sitting at the position in which the pedals were at currently um, in the stock configuration of where they were on the X-Member were not going to work. They were too far back, couldn't even get in and out of the car, where now, so we took them all the way out, and I'm going to have to figure something out with the pedals. I figured first, Let's get the seating position comfortable. We got the steering wheel nailed, um, and I think all this stuff is really good. I got a little bit of foam underneath to me that we have, you know, plenty of two or two or so, two and a half inches of foam or whatever it is. Plus, we'll have the material on top. I'm like looking pretty much center through the windshield. You're sitting down in the car. That was a big thing I wanted to do on this car. Is your your shoulders are kind of down level with the the top of the body or just below, and I think it's perfect. You can get your arm just over the door and you can cruise so pretty cool to be sitting in this car this is the first time i've actually sat in it uh, possibly ever i don't know uh, but this is kind of what it's going to feel like which it feels really rad <laughs> so um yeah so that's a good little update on the uh, sweetheart roadster we're going to keep picking away at this thing throughout the next you know the summer this year and really try and get some progress done on this car but this is huge we may work on the front floor pan next the, the pedals i'm not quite sure we're going to look at this for a couple of days before we start filming the next video and then we can kind of make a decision on what our next move is but we're going to have to definitely get the pedals sorted out asap so that we can uh, make sure that everything's going to drive together so thank you guys for following along appreciate it catch you later